Hey John, you want this? No. John, how about this? No. John, what about this? No. John, this? No. Frugal, the Spanish word for frugal. Your passport? All right, Ben, you ready? Do what? Flying? <laughs> and good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. Today, uh, Ben over here and I are talking about budget travel. So we're in the back of the airplane. We are in basically like you know, no window seat, unfortunately no B-roll, but it only cost us 5,000 pesos for these tickets. And uh, today we're gonna tell you guys how to travel throughout Atacama on a budget-friendly budget. Let's go. Number two is, well, combined with tip number three, I guess, is when you are going to the airport, don't buy anything in the airport, and however long your flight is to the north or the south on an airplane here in Chile, don't buy anything on that flight because you can buy it in the terminal. We just got a sandwich in the terminal, the bus terminal in Santiago, ate it on the way to the airport, or you can put it in your bag, whatever the case. You can get through the security, no problem. And it's like 500 pesos compared to like 4,000 pesos to get something to eat and drink and all that kind of stuff in the airport. So uh, that is tip number two. So tip number three is uh, right here, rental car. I don't know if this is something like that's a, a really good idea that's really, really cost effective, but to us, we were deciding, do you go on a, a tour? How much are the tours? They were about 25,000 pesos a piece. We got a car for 72,000 pesos, I think it was, for the two of us. We can go anywhere we want. That car was going fast. That one's slower. Yeah. <laughs> you can go anywhere you want, fill it up with gas whenever you want, and uh, I feel like you can see everything you want to with a, a rental car, but I don't know, maybe like, I don't want to take away from the tour groups. I'm sure you learn a lot and you can see a lot more with a tour group. And if I had a ton of money or if I were here on vacation and had a lot of money coming from the States or somewhere else, maybe I would do a tour group too, but having a car and being able to stop and fly the drone around wherever I want, stop and see the llamas and all the different uh, wildlife which are basically two llamas so far. <laughs> it's pretty cool. What's your first impression of this place? It is so hot here and the sun is so bright. You gotta bring some skin cream when you come here because you're gonna get dry. Yeah, I would agree, yeah. Especially for me, I'm super white. Me too, the gringos. Gringo life, hashtag gringo life. <laughs> woo woo! <laughs> So the next tip that I have for you, I think this is tip number four, I think, is that right? 
four or five, four or five, something like that, is to come to a corner store. Even better is to stop in Calama and grab some food. But here, we just wanted to get to San Pedro and get to a corner store. We saw that there were a bunch of them here. We just found basically the first one that we could find. And we got two bags of Doritos, super gringo. Uh, I think, how many pieces of bread? 10? 10 pieces of bread, uh, four avocados, juices, and we've got some ham down here somewhere. It's ham somewhere for the bread. Uh, and all of that was 14,000 pesos. So for the two of us to eat for hopefully the next couple of days is uh, 14,000 pesos, which I don't think is all that bad. And we'll see how long it lasts. I mean, I'm starving right now. I'm so hungry. But I also saw that there were colaciones, which are just like uh, where you have a, a salad or a soup, your main entree, and sometimes a dessert with a, a juice or something like that for 3,500 pesos per person, which I don't think is super unreasonable either. But uh, I like to support... Thanks. You're welcome. I like to support these little little shops as well, and I just, I mean, I love the bread. If there were marraqueta here, I would have had it, but uh, this is good too. Oh! Like your juice shaken? <laughs> so, the next thing, I think it's number four, or five, maybe even six, I don't know, on the budget friendly list of things to do in San Pedro is to talk to the locals. They know what's best to do and what's the cheaper things to do for the equally good or even better experience. So, one of the things that they told us to do was instead of going to, uh, what was the last Laguna? Laguna Cesar, Ce Cejar, Ce Cejar, which was 10,000 pesos, was to rather go to this one right here. This was only 2,000 pesos per person instead of 10,000 pesos per person. And this is called, Ben, can you say it? Laguna Teben Quinche. Nice. And uh, it's really beautiful. I mean, look at this. It's enormous. It's it is huge. enormous. So, so cool. But uh, it has this little walkway that you can walk on. You can also drive to different places to park and take different pictures. And uh, I mean, it is really, really cool. So look at that. That's incredible. Anyways, that was tip number either four, five, or six. <laughs> All right. The next uh, budget-friendly thing is um, we don't pay for a knife. We would rather use a uh, expired Subway gift card because it works like a charm. And now we can have something more than just ham on our sandwiches. <laughs> Thank you, Subway. I'm a genius. Huh. I'm a genius. You are. Thank Was you. it clean? Of course. I haven't used it yet. It's expired. <laughs> <laughs> and the next tip of our many tips, I don't know which one this is anymore, is to find a cheap place to stay. And there are tons of places that you can stay for really cheap. This one cost us 15,000 pesos per person, but we get our own place. So we have two beds in here. Looks like that. We've got our own bathroom back here, which is nice. Comes with uh, towels. And then the nice thing that I really appreciate is that I can charge all of my stuff. I don't leave anything in here while we're gone, but I feel safe having our stuff in here. Whereas in other places that you could stay for cheaper, maybe 10,000 pesos a night, it'd be a shared space with other people. And you can do that, but I just have a lot of equipment for making these videos. So I don't like to do that. The other thing that I appreciate is that over here, we have a, a shared kitchen. So shared kitchen right over here has has your stove, which is nice because I could make my coffee this morning. We've got a refrigerator. We can put our stuff in there. I think Ben put in, oh yeah. We've got some beers chilling right there. And uh, they have everything that you really need up here. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying this is the, the only place that does something like this. There are other places as well that you could find a place like this, a space that is a shared space for 
uh, your eating and, and stuff like that, and then you have a shared space for, uh, for your living space. For us, it worked out great. For me especially, because safe spot, parking here is great, no problem with that, and then uh, I feel safe. So, another obvious thing to do for uh, a budget video is uh, walk around. It has all this fair going on, so you can go to the, the feria, and then there's other stuff set up over here. You can see the, the blue tarps over here. But of course, another cheap thing to do, free thing to do, go check out the, uh, go check out the beautiful church here. It's so nice, look at this. The squeaks in the ground that it's been maintained. It's still so, so beautiful. And uh, the original thoughts for this church came to being in the 1500s. What an incredible piece of history. And you can see it all for, uh, for free. How cool is this guy? Did you just hear that thunder? Thunder? These guys playing in the middle of a desert? Does that go together? Like, I see the music, but... All this rain back here in a desert. Anyways, we're in the plaza right now. It's so, so beautiful. All these people are coming together, selling different things, and then it's all for free. You just walk around, hang out, sit in the plaza, and it's so, so beautiful. How cool. Check this out, guys. It says right back there, Casa. Just a house. So one thing I wasn't expecting here in San Pedro was for there to be so many different uh, tourist stores here. So obviously they are going after anybody who has any money here. I mean, it's kind of nice because in case you're, you're missing something, you forget something, you're going to be able to find it. Also, there are some really nice restaurants here, but um, we are on a budget. So we got some uh, Royal Guard IPA, IPA. And uh, we are headed back to our place to uh, eat some bread with a piece of meat and uh, some Doritos because we are on a budget. We're going to stick to that budget. But if you didn't uh, figure out why we like this kind of beer, go check out the, uh, the video that we just made about uh, our favorite beers here in Chile. This one's, this one's a good one. One of your favorite. It wasn't my, your favorite. My number one. My your favorite. number one. Impressive. And good morning. Welcome to another beautiful day here in uh, the beautiful land of Atacama. Oh my goodness. Another thing about uh, renting a, a car back there, we got a, a bigger car. Costs a little bit more, but totally worth it because you can take it up to uh, views like this. Oh my goodness. I think we're at like maybe 10,000 feet in elevation and uh, whew, I can feel it. It's harder to walk around, less air, but holy cow, this is beautiful. Let me, uh, let me show you. All right, guys, check this out. Can see all the mountains. So, so beautiful. Check it out. Oh man, it's so pretty. And then, check this out. Oh yeah, we're gonna be, we are going to be in the midst of uh, all this cloud. Look at that. Beautiful blue skies. Like five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Can't see anything back there. This is wild. It's just like running away from clouds. <laughs> it's also getting really, really cold outside. 
And that's one of the things that I don't know if I will regret is not packing things that are for winter conditions because we're going really high in elevation right now. And it uh, obviously gets cold. But just check this out, just five seconds and you're in the middle of the clouds. <laughs> oh, so wild. <laughs> all right so besides all of this uh beauty right back here there's some flamingos back there a wild donkey i don't know if it's wild but there's a donkey that's like going crazy over there middle of the street uh ben what did you have for breakfast today today i had i had just a piece of bread i had half a bag of doritos and i've had two handfuls of coca leaves <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit of juice too. <laughs> oh man, okay, I had um, a piece of bread from yesterday. There was a toaster at the place that we're staying at. And um, coffee, coffee that I brought from home. So that was free. And that's it. I should probably drink some water though because yeah. I feel like we're at a really high elevation and I'm pretty cold. I got some coca leaves. No, no, I'm just not a fan of it. That's Maybe brilliant. in a tea. I don't mind it in a tea. But. This is really, really beautiful. Only one other car that we've really seen. One other one passed us, but this is the only one that's kind of in the same trajectory as us. And it's so green, so, so beautiful. Oh my goodness. And uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but the donkey going crazy over there. <laughs> <laughs> So the other thing that you can do for free here along this uh, beautiful road is you can see the llamas, but also that llama right back there with its mom is one day old. There's a guy that just stopped. He told us, uh, stay on the road, don't go into this uh, nature preserve and um, just look. And then he explained to us that that llama right there was born just, just yesterday. Look at that. I've never seen a llama that young before. Oh man, that's so cool. But no matter how you get to do this kind of experience, whether you pay a bunch of money and you go into all these different tourist attraction places, you go with a tour group, which is all great and fine and you're gonna see amazing things, or whether you're really frugal and you just want to rent a car eat some bread and uh, basically just live as cheap as you possibly can but see as much as you can, you're still going to see just this amazing wildlife here. It's absolutely incredible to be here. What a blessing. And I hope that you guys get a chance to see all of this as well in San Pedro de Atacama. Today, we really lived like, uh, like uh, well, we had no money. But we really do. I mean, to take a plane, even though it was only like 5,000, 15,000 pesos for me, renting a car, it all kind of adds up. So we figured that our day here, seeing everything, eating bread and all of that, it cost around uh, 50,000 pesos to do it as cheap as we possibly can. And that's starting in, in Santiago. So it's, uh, I mean, there's some things though that you just, um, you can't put a price tag on. So I hope that you learned something from this video. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All of those links are, are right below. And if you're not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe. And uh, from this beautiful place filled with flamingos, ciao, Pascal. So another thing about uh, traveling on a budget is that you can just take your car out if you rent a car and then just go travel and see beautiful sights, sunrises, and check this out. I think that these are called guanacos. And they're just like in the middle of the road, just chilling, running around. Oh my goodness. This is so, so beautiful. This is worth the, the price of the rental car just to see this. I mean, be here with nobody else around and see nature. So, so cool.